Okay, so let me um, just going to be hiking Mount Sai today, and uh, I haven't actually walked this trail for like 16 years. So I think that was the last time I was up here was 2003. Um, it's like 4,000 feet elevation again, and maybe three and a half, sorry, three and a half thousand feet elevation again. So uh, we'll see how far we've gone, and I've got all my Sky Trail hiking gear. So let's go. It's uh, 12 minutes past 11 in the morning. It's nice and cool, and we will see how far we get here, man. So. Go. Cool. See how this works out. Okay, later. So this is the tub right at the very start here. You can already see it's pretty rugged. And uh, I don't think you. I always remember this being a bit of a slog, but it's 16 years, I guess. So we'll have to see what happens. But it's. Uh, more of a, a trail. We're actually going through some old forest growth. It's just super cool with all the moss. So we'll see how this trail is. But it's uh, it doesn't mess around. It starts off moderately steep right off the bat. So it's going to take a little while to get my breath under control. Um, but it's, uh, we'll see how it goes. This guy's already been up. Hello. Good hike. Yep. Good. So, uh, well, let's, uh, see how far we get today. This is the Osmo. I've got some new software loaded on here, a new firmware. The actual face tracking is supposed to be better. So we'll see how this actually is working out. And uh, this should be pretty good. But nothing better than these trails where it just starts off right through ruggedness. And you can see the difference between this trail and um, uh, the, the Poo Poo Point Trail. Uh, make me kill up if you're doing a lot of work on um, Poo Poo Point. You put a lot of flagstones and things, which actually made it a little bit funky for me, to be honest. Initially I thought it was cool, but it was way too many. This is much more natural. It's pretty cool! Okay, hopefully next time I get the camera on, my breath will be under control, because I've just started. Right, later. This is the uh, first a glimpse through the trees down to the valley here, so climbing Mount Sai. I used to think I stopped here with my son about 16 years ago. And um, there's actually, uh, this trail itself is really well maintained. It's actually pretty super. Um, <laughs> it's actually greedy, it's not too bad. But it's, I don't know how much I actually loved hiking in the past. It's giving you a good feeling inside for some reason. And I love the weather when it's nice and cool like this. Hopefully when I get to the top here, the uh, clouds may have cleared. Um, uh, but, but, you know, we, we can see. One of the things I did find out is that uh, I'm going to have to fix the the camel back inside this uh, my Z-Pax Arc Blast. It's, uh, the tube keeps kinking, so I don't get any um, water coming through if it's a pain. But what I'll do later here is I'm going to try out my uh, life straw. Um, there's lots of runoff water from a hill here. And it's a little uh, compressible bag, so you can just actually fill it up with the runoff water, turn it upside down and squeeze it through the filter, and it should be good. This is awesome. I must have spent about 15 minutes back there trying to get that freaking uh, camelback tube unkinked. I thought I had, but obviously not. Anyway, okay, I, uh, I'll motor on, I'll see you in a little bit. So I'm just... Uh hiked up probably the steepest part and uh, you know it's steep when you can see the angle uh, below me here you see there's a couple of people walking through the woods hopefully yeah and uh, 
that's almost like a 60 degree slope there that is uh 60 degree slope i would say easily maybe even more maybe 75 percent um it's uh zigzags all the way up here this is cool but they can start to uh, see some light instead of the it's getting brighter up there uh, and i think not obviously at the top yet probably got less than, probably less than a thousand feet to go now um but it's uh getting brighter so hopefully uh the clouds will have disappeared and uh Oh, look at that, looks like it's like a, a witch, a witch it's crash landed with a broom into the tree. Um, but it's getting brighter, so hopefully if that sun comes out it's going to be super cool. But uh, yeah, it's, a lot of trees down here, I don't know if that's windstorm damage or what. Um, it's a pretty well maintained trail. I guess this was never here for the first time I came up. But it's actually pretty good. I'm feeling strong, so uh, I think actually that's a good part, I guess. So yeah, this has actually been quite fun. I, this is a bit of a test for me. I wanted to see six weeks left to go before we go to Scotland. Um, how I'd be doing doing this is a seven mile return with four thousand feet, so. I'm pretty sure if I can do this one, I'm feeling good, which I am. Doing that 18 mile, 6,000 feet. Again, I think should be fine in the Isla Sky. Assuming the weather's good. It's not blowing a gale. Oh yeah, there's some clearings coming up here. Um, but the looks of it. And there's trees. You can see it get much brighter through there. So yeah. Pretty good, enjoying this. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying this. Okay, I'll get you to the top. So, uh, it's me, like, almost at the top of the clearing here. And, uh, yeah, actually, a bit of steep back there, as I, as I hopefully showed you. Um, it's about 75% degree slope, and you're zigzagging uh, all the way up the hill. And, uh, it's the first time I've actually seen a, a little bit of a view since uh, hiking here. Um, but it's, uh, I reckon if, if it seems to be, um, approximately, I'm over 4,000 feet, it says, and, uh, I believe I'm over 4,000 feet, um, although the top is 4,000 and it's over 4,000, so I think it's just up, it's not that far from where the hell I am anyway, but, um, the very top here there's a, a chimney it's called there's a stack and um last time you know I scrambled up it you know it's you know, it about a 90 percent steep face very short um you know, it'd be nice to do that today but it's been raining up here with the clouds and the rocks will be slippy as hell and uh i think the last thing i want to do before i go hike in scotland is jeopardise my chances. It's all about risk management, any sport. And I always get a little bit more conservative as I approach every holiday. I want to go on vacation. And uh, so looking forward to this one in Scotland. And I'm actually super happy about my, at least my level of fitness. Not 100% fit obviously yet, but I'm currently doing 32 minutes every mile. And uh, that's actually equating, equating to probably probably a good 900 feet, maybe every 30 minutes, um, which is the sort of pace I have at Tiger Mountain. But I thought this one would have been a little bit uh, steeper. And it's it's really good trail, but um, that was a really steep section, which was yeah. That was, that was steep, that was up and down like a yo-yo. Back and forth like a yo-yo. Anyway, um, starting to get to the clouds with the mist here, but I think it's lifting, so we should be able to take some views. And uh, it took, I believe it's 16 years since I hiked this thing up. 
So I was pretty uh, young back then, but now I'm 60. So yeah, 60 years old. And, well, still life no bugger yet, I guess. Okay, I'll see you guys at the top. This is a... Uh, Get the name of those birds, but um, this is actually this is the first clearing, and uh, the chimney's up the top here, the stack. So, oh. look at the view, fantastic! Zilch, <laughs> oh, it's a chipmunk, a wild chipmunk, folks. It's super cute, yeah. Too bad about the view. Huh? Too bad about the view. Yeah. Oh, look at that wee thing. That is just amazing. Yeah, it's going to lift the way you can start this. There you go. Fantastic. So, not quite at the top yet. What? Not quite at the top yet. No, but we, we felt like it was good enough. I'll have a. I've not taken any water yet, so I've got to start from happening. There's your mum up there. Or your sister or something. My girl. She's waving at you. Yeah. Oh, there's the last. Cool. What are you doing? Two hours, five minutes. I'll take that. Sweet. So, finally, I uh, just got to the top here. And if I swing around, I'll uh, show you uh, what the top of uh, Mount Si is like. And uh, here's the views. And they just cleared for me. I got here, it was socked in. And it just lifted just within the last five minutes. And uh, that's the view. Fantastic, huh? Just about 4,000 feet up here. And believe it or not, folks, um, this is one of the paraglider launches. I fly paragliders, as some of you may know. And uh, they actually launch from up here. And uh, I've seen some videos where people, they basically... These trees have grown a bit. I actually thought they used to, have to do it from here, but it's actually just down there, around here. It's a scramble. And um, if we go up here a little bit, we should be able to find the, the launch. Yeah. Yeah. So effectively, this little uh, clearing down there is where they launch a paraglider from. A bit sketchy. <laughs> you can see the cloud coming back in. But uh, I'm so happy to get a view before the mist sits back in. And it's freaking chilly. Um, you can actually climb up here, the haystack, at the back. Uh, I'm not going to do it today. So, but I'm going to continue on. And um, I hadn't realised today you can actually continue on this hike and go around the back to Mount Tenerife uh, and do a complete loop. So I've got another sandwich. I've got trail mix. I've got lots of water. And uh, why the hell not, eh? So... Let's party on. So this is me actually on the connector trail, I think, to Tenerife. I'm just following the trail in front of me here, where all the footprints are. But the snow is quite amazing up here still. It's pretty deep in places. I come up the entire front end of the trail from Mount Sai. No snow. You just go over the back of Mount Sai and then come on the connector trail here. And it's like a snow, snow everywhere. So uh, hopefully this will join me on quite quickly to the Mount Tenerife Trail and then that will take me uh, about 2.9 miles back down to almost near the bottom where I join the, uh, join back onto the, the short trail that takes me back to the car. But uh, pretty fun stuff, fun stuff for sure. <laughs> I'm trying to watch my feet in here so I don't fall my arse. Oh. Uh, for some reason all I'm looking about for is like bear prints and cougar prints so I'm talking away, keep myself noisy because uh, these tr tracks that I've been I'm following uh, these are quite old <laughs> these aren't today, there's the sun out, super um, so yeah, so these aren't out today and uh, it looks like I'm heading back into woods here so that means hopefully the snow will disappear and I'll pick up a an actual uh, woody trail again but uh, it's, it's pretty pretty to uh, as you can see 
It's actually quite, quite super cool. Super cool, with the sun out especially, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, later. Oh, this is something else there. I was just admiring the colour of the rock. I'm now actually on the Mount Tenerife uh, trail back down the hill. Snow's gone. And I was admiring the colour of the the rock here. But look at these trees, precariously overhanging. This face, this is about to disappear with the uh, next couple of winters. Next winter maybe that stuff is just going to be completely gone. That's just crazy. That's just crazy, but the colour of these rocks are beautiful. Look at it, you can see it's like an iron. Wow. Crazy stuff. And, uh, well, the views are just opening up now. And, uh, I have to actually find my shoes here when I came down the snow on that connector trail. They must, feet might be sliding a little bit inside it. Because just in the arches it feels as if they've been rubbing. Uh, here's a, a lookout. Looks like a stone of some sort here. And a big bench. And uh, I've actually just used that life straw. Filled up with the runoff coming off the hill from the snow. And tasted it crystal clear. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh yeah, here we go. Right. There you go. Looking, looking out over the the valley. That's super hot. Yoo okay. So this is me like halfway down the hill on Tenerife. You just heard the water running in. Yeah, well, the waterfall back in there. It's coming down the hillside, running burn. So uh So yeah, this has actually turned out really good. Um, I just got a little bit of a, like a, it's like a little bit of a cramp in the muscle halfway up my back one side. It's noise, niggling me, it's annoying me. Uh, and uh, end steps, a little bit of hot spots in there just now. So I think when I came down through that snowbank, it was really, I think my feet might have been slipping uh, back and forth. Anyway, um, I'll have to check that out later. But it just occurred to me, this path I'm walking down, is, this is much more gentle, or still moderately steep, but certainly not as steep as the, the front face hiking up. Um, but it just occurred to me, I'm actually hiking on a, it's actually an old, it's an old road. Um, it's too well maintained. Um, be interesting to see what they used it for. I'll have to do some history on that one. Um, it was all hard packed, chucky stones, like General Wade roads from Scotland uh, towards the top. But now we're back to your typical, um, gravel uh, like path here as you can see I mean it's certainly not a trail it's certainly uh, it's uh, it, this would have been wider and it's just from each side and it's certainly a road there's no doubt in my mind about it so uh, this has been really nice and take it easy going down because there's no rush um, but it is just a little bit of a niggle on that uh, right hand side halfway down my back I try to stretch every so often but so I might take with me some that icy hot pack, so what we call it, and uh, just slap one of them on if it happens again. Anyway, okay, so I hope you're enjoying this uh, hike with me today, folks. And uh, it's not far to get down to the bottom, and then I'll be in the car and I'm going to shoot off to uh, Snoqualmie. And uh, for people watching, my family back home, and uh, Snoqualmie is basically where Twin Peaks was, was filmed. Uh, Snoqualmie Falls is there the Cherry Pie Cafe I think it's called the Cherry Pie Cafe um, but they also have a nice brewing company there so I'm going to stop for a beer and a bowl of soup ok, catch you guys later very cool Welcome to Viking Civilization because I'm standing on a bridge and uh, this is the water run off the top of the hill here it's really gorgeous yeah it's like a wooden bridge and uh, falls away underneath and uh, just come down there and I'm making my way down you can see your way through in the back distance here on the other side of the valley but the weather's been superb and um, I can't really uh, complain at all about uh, this walk today this is, uh, I'm going to take that too.
Okay, all good to go, back to the car, here. Well, that's me uh, just coming back into the car park and the time is, uh, time is 4.25, so I set off at 11.13, so uh, 12 minutes I guess, so that's 5 hours 12 minutes, um, it took me 2 hours 20 up. Probably about 2 hours 20 down because I came back a longer way. So 440 plus. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. Stopping for lunch, taking the pictures, etc. Yeah, two and a half up, probably two and a half down, I guess, on average. Um, that was super. I have to admit, I'm a bit tired. <laughs> I, will, I will not lie. And um, niggle in my back, it seems to have worked itself away, um, which is good. Uh, but definitely my legs were getting a little bit tired or my feet I should say were getting a bit sore it's under the arches still um, have to get that fixed legs feel pretty strong, thighs, muscles, calves etc uh, but I was making a couple of little mistakes in the way at the bottom and I actually slipped in some steps and mud and whoa I thought I was going to help myself um, they were so cool today especially seeing them real live wild chipmunks don't see that so often, do you? And the other part that was freaking me out was um, they have these birds. Forget you get them at the ski resort. They always come down and feed off your poles if you put breadcrumbs on top. Uh, I'm eating my roast beef sandwich. The freaking thing dive bombs me. Take takes a bite out of it as I eat that eat that in my mouth. I had to cover it every time. Bollocks. Anyway, that's it. I'll get this video posted up later probably and uh, edit it. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. Um, Mount Sai uh, Nature Conferst Conservation Area.